The gas meter has been called the company's cash register, yet very little has changed over the years about how we collect this very important customer data. In early August, Atmos Energy took its first steps toward automating meter reading through a pilot project in Jefferson Parish, Louisiana. If successful, this small transmitter could change the way the company reads more than 3.2 million meters while at the same time taking customer service to new heights. Advanced Metering Infrastructure, or AMI, on this edition of Natural Gas 101. I'm in McKinney, Texas today talking with David Anglin, who has been put in charge of implementing AMI throughout the enterprise. David, without getting too technical, how does AMI work? Jerry, we've chosen the FlexNet system manufactured by a Census Metering Company. People might be more familiar with the name Rockwell Meter Company, and Census is the name of that company today. We're using a, a technology that uses a transmitter installed on each customer meter. Use, it transmits its data every four hours using a two watt transmitter across FCC licensed frequencies. Those uh, transmissions are sent to a tower that can be as much as 35 miles away and then relayed across the secure network to the Dallas data, data center where we collect that data and use it for billing or other purposes. We currently have transmitters being installed in Louisiana and we'll soon be installing them in McKinney. Can you tell us about those pilots and how those sites were chosen? Sure. When we were looking for locations to test the technology, we wanted two locations in two very different geographic areas. Uh, we also wanted two different divisions. When we chose Monroe, we chose it because of the uh, large spread out area that the 50,000 customers are in, plus we would be able to convert the entire community to AMI. In addition, the meter reading contractor that's used in Monroe would no longer be needed once we finish the AMI installation. We chose McKinney because of its fast growing area outside of the Metroplex of Dallas, and AMI will take some workload off of our employees here. Can you tell us how the pilots are going so far? The pilots are going very well. We have an installation contractor working in Monroe. He will very, in the very near future, he will be finished uh, with Monroe and moving to McKinney to start the installs here. One question we hear a lot concerns the meter reader's job. Can you tell us what will happen to those employees employed as meter readers once AMI is completed? Well, the objective of AMI is to improve our level of customer service by automating most of our meter reading and related service activities. While meter reading as we know it today would not be needed in the future, when AMI is complete, employees who currently do this work will have opportunities in other areas. Atmos is like any other utility company. We're going to experience significant attrition in the next few years. In fact, the attrition is anticipated to far exceed the number of employees that are affected by AMI. So once the schedule for AMI is, is developed, employees will have plenty of time to train to take other opportunities in the company. Well, now I think we have a basic understanding of what AMI is. David, thanks a lot for your help and good luck with the project. Thank you, Terry. I'm now joined at the meters by Gerald Rayfield and Jimmy Pratt, both of the Midtex division. I understand that both of you will be involved in installing 20,000 transmitters here in McKinney and that you're going to give us a demonstration on how that process will work. That's right, Terry. The first step is downloading meter route information into this handheld. Now we'll go over to the meter and Jimmy will install the transmitter. The handheld has led us to the first meter. Now Jimmy will remove the index. Jimmy has removed the index. Now he will install the index on the transmitter. Now that the index is on the transmitter, the next step will be to install the transmitter on the meter. The final step is to program the transmitter with specific measurement settings, including the current meter reading. This will also initiate the first transmission. The entire process can be completed in under 15 minutes. Once completed, the meter sends a reading to the tower about every four hours. During each transmission, a reading for each hour since the last transmission is sent to the network. The result is the recording of a reading for each hour of each day for every customer. If the pilot programs in Louisiana and Texas are successful, a plan will be developed for the installation of transmitters on more than 3 million meters in the 12 states served by Atmos Energy. By harnessing the power of technology through AMI, Atmos Energy will be able to improve customer service and efficiency. And because AMI uses radio signals to relay meter information, it just might also make dog bites a thing of the past for our employees. For Natural Gas 101, I'm Terry Briggs.